How much longer must we put up with these Sahili mercenaries? They are as haughty as their kind ever was during the Covenant, despite how they have debased themselves for Atriox. True, their ship is impressive. <laughs> when I think of the punishment we dealt to the human's pitiful outpost, great peals of laughter burst from my lips. <laughs> How they ran like tiny insects, hopelessly lost and panicked, as if we had poured boiling water into their dirty little mess. <laughs> yes, we burned that place. Of course, many of the Ungoy under our command were obliterated as well, but you cannot have a feast without breaking bones. <laughs> our soldiers knew the risks and were willing to die for our goal. And the young boy, <laughs> well, they are merely fodder, willing to hurl themselves to their deaths as long as there is someone to command them to do so. <laughs> uh, not so with these. Pompous St. Healy. They declined our invitations to celebrate the destruction of the human's outpost. It is untrustworthy to have mercenaries be so squeamish. War is not about honor, but about who climbs out of the pit alive at the end. The end of the Covenant has freed our race but it seems to have imprisoned theirs. Ah, that is all. My shift is over, and I must go now to find some ungoys to beat for sport. Sports.